All right, so what we're gonna be doing is a seated good morning. So how you wanna set this up is you want your feet a little bit in front of your knees and you want wide feet. You're gonna take the bar and place it like a low back squat. And from here, you want your chest to stay up, back nice and flat. And what Britt's gonna do is lower her chest down towards the bench as far as she can while maintaining a flat back. Now watch the low back here. When she gets too far down, notice the point in between where her shorts stop and her sports bra stop. You can see there's a little bit of extension. See that? There was flexion on the way up. We don't want that. What we wanna do is go down low enough to where everything stays flush right there and then come back up. Once we hit that point where the hips are no longer mobile and now the back is hitting uh, extension like that, that is no bueno. That is a slip disc waiting to happen. So we're just gonna go down right about there, going all the way back up, maintaining that nice flat back, keeping it out of the spine and coming all the way back up. She's doing 10 good reps for nine and 10. Nailed it. She's going to get a single arm dumbbell row. There's gonna be 10 for each arm. So a couple things, he's got that three point stance and we've really been emphasizing this. Our clients are getting way better to make sure that they're taking that dumbbell into a full extension in the front and they are putting that dumbbell in the pocket. What we're gonna be looking to not have them do is driving that dumbbell up to their chest like so. So they're also not opening up like so. So he's gonna get 10 on one side and then he's gonna switch and he is going whew, to get 10 on the other. That rep count stays the same every single time as well. This is a, a 10 rep workout. Then he's gonna move on, okay? He's gonna move on to that next quadrant, which is going to be a single arm kettlebell swing. So he's going to take his right arm and he's going to give you 10 good right arm kettlebell swings. So these will probably be lighter. They're gonna need a little bit more core stability um, for nine and 10. And then he's going to switch that to his left side for nine and 10. That will stay the same every single round as well. Then we're gonna move over. Remember, this is where our island lap happens. And then on the gray, you're gonna have dumbbells for 10 bent reverse flies. Um, I wouldn't put anything heavier than like a couple pairs of 20s to 25s. They want heavier, they can go heavier. We really wanna focus on keeping those guys wide, okay? So he's in a bent reverse fly. Notice how his chest is down. Um, his elbows, or I'm sorry, his wrists are facing each other and he is keeping them wide. They are not a row. Show him the bit over row. That's not where we're at, okay? So he's gonna get nine and 10 and he's gonna immediately go into 10 weighted burp stands. So it is a chest down, but he doesn't have to jump. He just stands for nine and 10. He will then move on. Boxes will be here. We'll have 10 good box jumps. And then he'll come over yonder and there are three movements, 10 reps, each movement every single time. So he is going to do a lat pullover. So he has got his weight in his heels, his booty is out, his back is about a 45 degree angle, and he's got a slight, very slight bend in his elbows, and he is taking that rope into his pocket using all the lats for nine and 10. Then he's going to take that up to a mid row. So he is going to stand up, his feet are planted, he is driving, the middle or that rope into the middle of his chest. So his elbows are not aligned with his shoulders. They are still going back at a 45 degree angle for nine and 10. Then he is going to go all the way up, grab the bar, and he's gonna go into 10 pull-ups for nine and 10. That is going to be that circuit every single round. And then we're gonna have a play. Okay, so pretend these tires are in that quadrant but we are gonna do a one-way tire flip. So the big thing here is making sure that they are using their legs. So Trav is gonna go into a squat position. He's gonna get his booties, da booties down. He is going to grab the bottom of that tire and he is going to explode out of his legs to flip that tire. What we wanna make sure we're correcting is them just walking up to the tire and bending over with their butt in the air. That is not what we want to see. Make sure <laughs> their hips are down. They are using those legs to explode up and it is a one-way tire flip, just like so. Now again, this is going to be um, as many rounds as possible. So everything is 10 reps, um, and I want them to slow, control, challenge themselves, um, and we will give them 40 minutes to get through as many circuits as possible.